All right, so number three for the day, uh, we got movie Farmhouse. Farmhouse. Now, I've been in my local blockbuster and passed this movie quite a few times. I mean, I don't know about you, but I'm still a, you know, I used to rent VHSs when I was a kid in the horror section, you know, and I went by the cover. Like, that's what caught my eye, you know, was a good-looking cover, uh, you know, what's on the cover tells me what's in the movie, and I could always pick them out by the covers, at least I did when I was a kid, so I still have that today, and, uh, you know, looking at this thing, farmhouse, you know, with that eye and the, the what he looks to be looking out through, like, a, a box of some sort, um, the first thing that comes to mind is a uh, torture film, um, and, you know, I've seen the Hostel and, uh, you know, these torture films that have been Saul's and, for God's sake, quit making those movies. For God's sake, quit making the Saw movies. They fucking suck. Really? The first one, pretty cool movie, but Jesus, after that, man, I saw the second one and that was it for me. Anyway, uh, so, I've passed this movie quite a few times. Um, you know, looked at it, picked it up. Again, looks like a torture movie. It is, but it's so much more. Uh, hold on, there's smoke. Uh, it is about a couple that has recently uh, lost their child, newborn baby, um, died, um, and they're off to. They're gonna move out of that house and they're gonna start fresh. You know, start a new life, move to a new city, and just start a new life. Um, they, the husband falls asleep at the wheel, and they get no car wreck. Not a fatal car wreck, uh, but one enough that they can't drive the car and they need to use a phone. So they go to what they see right across the way, a farmhouse. And they meet this nice couple, or what they think to be a nice couple, of course. We all know where this story is going, right? Um, they meet, um, I don't even know, what's his name? Plays. I don't know. But it's played by Steven Weber. Let's see. Where's he at? Right there. Wait, wait, wait. God, I gotta get this backwards thing going on. Right there. Now, Steven Weber from uh, Wings and uh, The Shining. TV series, the miniseries, um, he played Jack Torrance in that, um, Kelly Who plays his wife, who was in, uh, Friday the 13th Part 8, and X-Men, and it says here, or, I'm sorry, X2, and it says here The Scorpion King, which I never saw, um, William Lee Scott, who says Pearl Harbor and Butterfly Effects, sorry, I never saw either of those, and Jamie Brown from The Notebook, again, never seen The Notebook, so, I don't know, anyway. So they meet Mr. Weber, I forgot his character name, and has to use his phone, and the phone doesn't work. Well, they crash into a telephone pole, so of course, you can stay for the night. <laughs> Isn't it how it always goes? You know, you can stay for the night, it's okay. No, 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 we don't want to impose, blah, blah, blah. No, it's okay, don't worry. We're a little creepy, but don't worry. It's going to be fine. We'll drink some wine, eat some dinner, you guys go to sleep. I'll take you into town in the morning. You know, I'm sitting here watching this. It's not bad so far, but it's the typical, you know, okay, here we go. They meet these bad couple. They wake up in the middle of the night, and they're fucking chained up to the walls, with, you know, getting whipped and cut and all different things, um, which, again, it does start to unfold that way. Uh, it does. It is a torture movie. Uh, we do have, you know, people getting stabbed. People getting drowned, people getting uh, cheese graters <laughs> grated on them, I guess you'd say, human uh, uh, cheese topping uh, for things. Um, uh, but while I was watching it, it's not a bad torture film, I guess. Uh, but it takes quite an interesting twist. Now, during throughout the whole film, they go to these flashbacks of their life and uh, pretty much why they're in the situation they're in. 
Um, and as the film progresses, also the flashbacks, you know, progress through the time period that, that led them up to these events, uh, which get more interesting and more interesting. Until the final twist ending that, uh, i got to say, I did not see coming. Um, I knew, you, you know, you, you do get the sense that something is not quite right, there's something up, but they don't hint to it um, as much as a lot of other films that have these weird twist endings do, where you know something is coming, but you know that there's a twist ending. Um, I didn't really expect a twist ending out of this. Um, and I almost went to bed and said, you know what, I'll just finish this in the morning. Not a bad flick, but I've kind of seen it before and I'm tired. But I went and stuck it out and... Pretty good film, I'm going to say. Uh, so, it definitely surprised me. Um, on the rental here, it's got a behind-the-scenes featurette. It's not very long. Um, not bad. Um, but I would say take a rent first. Rent this thing first. Um, I dug it. Um, I don't know that I would buy it, but uh, pretty cool movie with a nice little twist ending. Uh, original, something different. Added on to your torture movie. So if you like torture films, definitely, you know, pick it up. Uh, if you hate torture films, I wouldn't watch it because, you know, most of the movie is that kind of torture film. But, um, so, rent it, see what you think, buy it. Uh, it's definitely not a toilet wiper. Uh, it's definitely not one that goes straight into trash. So, um, looks can be deceiving as I found out. Anyway, next time. Later. Later.